up everybody my name is diamond nunnally and welcome to another episode of let them speak where i ask students opinions on trending topics and on this episode i would like to tackle a topic that has been trending for the past couple of weeks and that is joseph fines playing michael jackson now a lot of people were shocked and outraged to find that joseph finds a white man is playing michael jackson in the upcoming british television comedy elizabeth michael and marlon it follows Michael Jackson, Elizabeth Taylor, and Marlon Brando taking a road trip from New York City to Los Angeles, California. So I am here at Democracy Plaza to see what IUPY students had to say about this topic. So let's let them speak. Do you think a white man should play Michael Jackson? I don't have a problem with it because, as we all know, his skin kind of turned white towards his, his later stages of life. So I don't think it's a problem to have a white man playing Michael Jackson. Uh, personally, I don't think they should. Uh, the reason for that is because uh, it there's like historical accuracy issues with that. Me personally, no. I'm not fond of that idea right away uh, because I feel that because Michael Jackson is identified as a black man that he should be represented by a person um, who is black. Um, but if a white man is to play Michael Jackson, I feel that he needs to be able to do justice to who he was as a person uh, for his singing, dancing, and overall uh, talent. Probably not. Well, I don't feel that way because he's not white. He's black. He has skin issues. So do you think a white man, so are you saying that you think a white man should play him or no? I think that he didn't intentionally try to make his image be that he's a white male. Um, I think it doesn't matter what kind of race um, it is to uh, for a certain role. Why? Um, because I feel like everyone's equal and um, just like we can't base someone off of their just like the color of their skin. No, I do not think white men should play Michael Jackson. Why? Because Michael Jackson was um, a big supporter of black America and I would think he would prefer a black man to play his role than a white man. Stacey Dash, an actress and now Fox contributor, has been in the media recently for her comments on the Oscar So White controversy, but she's received a lot of backlash from the black community and other races as well. Not only has she been in the media for her comments on the Oscar So White controversy, she's also made comments on Joseph Fiennes being cast as Michael Jackson. She says, according to the Huffington Post, Bravo! I'm sick and tired of being told, sorry Stacy, this is a Caucasian only role. This decision by Hollywood, which looks like a diss to blacks, is actually what we've been saying all along. Roles should not be based on color. I want to see more of diversity and thinking outside of the box with the equality that this designation entails. This is the right track. So, my question to you is, should movie roles be based on color? No, they should not. And just for the record, I feel like Mrs. Dash, she don't know what she's talking about, first of all. Um, She's very confused, okay? Let's just say that she got some issues going on. Not that it's even about race, but, you know what I'm saying, it's not about you being Caucasian or none of that, you know what I'm saying, just you are who you are. No, it shouldn't be based on color. Like, for instance, I've heard rumors of, um, the, that, uh, the, some, uh, black British, a famous black British actor that, um... Idris Elba. Idris Elba, yes. That was, um, that people suppose is gonna be the next Bond. And obviously he's black, and everybody's put, you know pictured when they think of Bond, they think a white man. But I think if you're qualified for the role, then in such as in that case, you should be able to play whatever role that is, despite the color of your skin. But when it comes to like historical accuracy, I mean, I would personally think that for accu historical accuracy purposes. Um, the race should be taken into consideration for that, or just for that reason. No, it shouldn't be based on color, but I mean, whoever is doing it the best should get the role. I don't think it should be based on color. It, because his skin color was, appeared to be white, do you think they should find someone who is a black person who looks white, or? You know what? Now that I think about it, I mean, what's really the difference if a white or a black person him. On January 25th, the day that this decision was made public, Oprah Winfrey posted an interview she did with Michael Jackson in 1993 where she addressed rumors that Michael Jackson wanted a white boy to play him in a Pepsi commercial. 
According to CBS, Michael Jackson responded, why would I want a white child to play me? I'm a black American. He said, I'm proud to be a black American. I am proud of my race. I am proud of who I am. And I have a lot of pride in who I am and dignity. So my question to you is, should people respect MJ's wishes? Then, uh, if he asks for a black person to play him, I think his wishes should be granted. As you know, him being period. dead, it's only you know out I mean? of respect. Yes, I think they should. I think they should. Whatever he says goes is about him, not about them. I don't know, that's a hard question. You should rec you should respect his wishes, but I think that there should be no boundaries between race and acting. I believe so, if that's what was his, if that was his wish. I mean, just like any, I would want somebody to respect my wishes if I, t if I told them so, then I'd hope they would follow through with them. And so if that's the case, and he said that to Oprah and to many other people, then I believe then he sh no white person should be portraying him because he doesn't want that instead of disrespecting the man while he's in his grave. So do you think, let's say, a black man could play George Washington? Um, yeah. You think so? I think so. I think everyone's equal. <laughs> no. Why? It, it's like, it's back and forth. Like, it's so many different scenarios. Like, you never know who can play who. But like, in a sense, I would say no, a black man should play George Washington. Okay. Because he is like dominant white, I mean, it's like who you who you represent. Like, that's that's how I go by. Okay. So I wouldn't want a white person to play Whitney Houston. I think he could. It'd be weird, granted, but if he was well qualified and the best man for the job, then why not? So the students have spoken. Be on the lookout for another episode of Let Them Speak on TheCampusCitizen.com. Follow me on Twitter at Diamond Simone to comment on what you want students to talk about. And also follow The Campus Citizen on all media outlets for updates on new content. My name is Diamond Nunnally, and I'll see you next time.